Hey guys, uh, interesting video today of a TikTok trend finder. Um, this is a tool that I, I've just built using Integromat where we plug in um, one profile and we will then go, so in this case we're using OnlyFans profiles, so I added in one OnlyFans creator. This automation is built to then go and find hundreds of other OnlyFans creators and it will then scrape all of their posts and determine which posts are, are going viral and picking up more views than average so that we can then send these out to, to your creators. Um, I will do a shameless plug here, by the way. Um, I We've released like an Integromat course. Uh, so if you're interested in learning how to actually build these types of automations, I know a lot of people are. Um, this video, as well as like this template um, that I've used, the Airtable template, step by step on how to build out automations like this and other ones we've built only fans scrapers TikTok account trackers all types of stuff is all included in um in the cool so this is the main database and so just to explain kind of step by step how this works i started off with just one account in here and the automation has now gone and found in the space of about an hour, um, 96 other accounts. So the way that this works is I plugged in one OnlyFans creator that I literally, a random creator that I found on Google and this automation will go through and scrape the followers of, of, of her and then analyze their bio to try to understand are they a creator. So over in the scraped users table, you can see here we have the bio and just by applying some basic filters, I can put in, does it contain spicy link or um, like the pepper emoji or any of these kind of like phrases and keywords that, um, that these creators use. I also added in a field for manual approval in case I ever wanted to go through there manually and, and I know that this person is an OnlyFans creator uh, and our filters didn't pick up on it. I've kept the filters quite... Um, specific uh, i generally like to use quite targeted parameters so that we don't get a lot of users who aren't relevant kind of fall, falling into our system and again within about an hour um even using like specific targeting starting off with this one profile riley uh we've now scraped over over 95 profiles so I will leave this running and this will essentially end up with a database of thousands, tens of thousands even of TikTok creators that this automation analyzes every single day to understand what content is going viral. So then to explain how it understands what is going viral, um, I'll just go through the field. We have following, followers, bio, post count. This is the number of following that we have scraped. Like I said, that is how we find new profiles. It's just a way of me tracking what has come from where and this is the match rate that we received so for example on this profile we scraped 174 um of her following and only one of them is an only fans creator so not the best ratio because it's a one percent ratio this profile has a three percent ratio this profile has a 14 percent ratio so out of seven profiles scraped one of them is an only fans creator this profile has a 13 percent ratio so out of 99 following we scraped 13 of them are OnlyFans creators. And this is how it builds out its own, own network. And then we're tracking the post count on these profiles. So these profiles don't have any posts this week, but they do have posts this month. Uh, and so this is just to give me a nice, clear overview of how active are these TikTok accounts. Uh, and then this is where it gets much more interesting. We have the average view count, the total average view count of all time of all videos that they've made. The average view count this week, which is like a more interesting and more up-to-date piece of information. As you can see, there's quite a large discrepancy here. The average view count of all time of this profile is 85,000 views. However, in the past week, they've posted three videos and they only have 25, uh, 2,500 views per video, which would kind of give an indication that, that they're, they're in fact shadow banned. And then average views this month uh, is 5,000. And so this is why I thought it's super important to take the more up-to-date and more relevant information um, on, on what is happening most recently uh, on, on their account. Otherwise it kind of completely skews your, your data. Um, 
And then if we come over into the grid view, this is where it gets interesting. So I built out, uh, this, this is where we scrape the TikTok videos. And then we have another field where we scrape the sounds. And this is where we analyze each of the TikTok videos. We take the play count, comment count, links, unique ID, and then we use these pieces of data, average views this week, uh, and we then do multiples multiples of that. So 2x, 4x, 10x, 25x, although I've actually changed that up to 100x now, uh, as you'll see. And so what we are then doing is analyzing how likely is it for this post to go viral or, or how well has this post performed for this creator? So we do that by assigning emojis and a virality score. So if we sort down by here, all of these videos have achieved over 100x the average that this creator is experiencing. So this creator is normally um, receiving, or this week has received an average of 4,170 views or 8,350 views, uh, sorry, 4,170 views. And so the minimum that I want them to get for it to be an interesting video for our creators to repost is 2x their average. And so you can see this video here uh, is 3.5 million views. So it's an 856x better result, 856 times more views than what they're receiving on average, which makes this a very, very high quality video. And it should be immediately sent to our creators to recreate. Same replies here. This is the multiple of how well it performed compared to their average. And so then I have like an emoji based system as well, where here for like the, the, the best ones, we've got the, the bomb emojis, four bomb emojis. That This is like a ultra high quality viral TikTok that, um, that should be prioritized. Down here, we these are still incredibly good. Um, these are performing more than 10x better of their average. Uh, and you could even break this up if you wanted to have like a more detailed system. Mostly I'm going off the virality score, by the way. This is purely just for like a, a, a visual element uh, to make it easier to look at. Down here, this is performing um, at least 4x better than average. Uh, and these are performing at least 2x better than average. So again, still not bad TikToks, but of course it makes sense to kind of work your way for, for, from the top down. Um, and then down here, these are all performing less than 2x better than average for that channel. So if a channel is normally experiencing 8,000 views per month, if it doesn't, sorry, 8,000 average views on their TikToks, if it doesn't get more than 16,000, I'm not interested not interested in it. And all of these are just completely disregarded. Mostly we're interested in spending our time up in, in this range. Uh, and what you could very easily do is you could build out an automation that sits on top of this. And whenever something matches any of these, uh, the criteria that you see here, you know, it, it it's um, more than 100 X better than average. You can send this straight out to your creators that this is an urgent video for us to remake. And the same would apply for kind of everything everything down here as well. Uh, although I may actually make this a little bit more, more strict. Um, but yeah, quick video to make, but super like interesting tool, very, very powerful. Uh, and this is kind of completely tailored to, to my requirements. Um, so of, like I said, the automation will literally go out and search for OnlyFans creators, find them and then add them into the automation and start scraping their videos. Um, I always prefer building completely self-sufficient automations. I can press this to run once. It will run forever. And maybe I'll come back and look at it a couple of weeks or a couple of months later and see that we have tens of thousands of, of TikTok profiles scraped. Um, yeah, I think that is um, pretty much it. Uh, yeah, and this is kind of like the real focus that, that I have at the moment on... On, on process automation with, within the agency um, on these kind of like viral marketing um, strategies. And I saw like a couple of other, there were some paid groups out there that I, I'm well aware of. Um, however, I they're sending out the same TikToks to the same creators all the time, which I don't really like. Um, like, you know, they're, they're discovering a viral trend, but then they're sending it out to all, all of their customers. Um, so it's not kind of unique and you're all just going to be like competing with each other, which is why I prefer to build out a, a custom-based solution. 
compared to using some of the like publicly available tools uh, on on the market. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. As always, any questions, feel free to leave a comment.